What's up y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Madison Payne and I'm a full-time blogger and Instagrammer and now I'm a baby YouTuber so thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I put out new videos every single day so make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell that way you don't miss out on anything. And in today's video I'm sharing with you guys my hacks. I've been curling my hair for 10 plus years and this is just things that I picked up from doing pageants, curling my hair for television, all the things and these are hacks I think every girl should know and they are super simple and super easy. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first hack that every girl needs to know is to separate out your hair. I don't do mine into a bunch of different sections because I don't really feel like that is necessary for me. I'm all about trying to save time when it comes to curling my hair, but it is a lot easier to get to your bottom sections when your hair is clipped back. Kind of no matter how much hair you have, I would section your hair off at least into two sections. And the second hack is to hairspray your hair before you start curling. This is going to add some automatic grit to your hair, and this is going to make them curls last longer. <laughs> okay, and my next hack is that I leave a decent amount of hair out, especially for these beachier, messier looks. If you want a complete, perfect ringlet, curly look, you're going to want to keep the hair all the way in, but if you want a beachy look, which is what I'm going for today, more of like a tousled look, then you're going to leave it out. Next hack is how to know when your curl is done. Some people count in their head. I personally just feel my curling iron at the top of it. Obviously, do not grab your curling iron, you know, right here where there's exposed barrel, but I just kind of lightly will tap my hair, and once it feels like my hair is warm, then I know it's fine to come out of the barrel. And again, since I'm going for that beachier look, I'm actually going to pull that end and see that straight end is what makes it look a little less messy and a little perfect. That's what I was saying about keeping your hair out of it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm leaving some hair out. Okay, the next hair curling hack is to not comb out your curls. Let them cool exactly how they are. That way that they're going to be a lot more likely for that curl to set and for it to stay curly. Even if you brush it out later, you want that curl to completely cool. And I'm just curling the other side the exact same way, leaving some hair out of the bottom. Also, this probably isn't a hair hack for everybody, but if you have hard to curl hair or hair that it takes a while to hold a curl, try using a smaller curling iron. The smaller the curling iron you go, normally the better hold. I personally, I love the way my hair looks with bigger curling irons, but a one inch my hair holds a curl so much better. So might not be a hair hack for everybody, but if you have straight, fine hair like I do, I would give it a try. Oh, also I say my hair is fine and you're probably like Madison. You have so much hair. This is extensions, y'all. Alright, so I'm already done with the bottom, and now it's on to the top of my hair. Remember, you are not curling out these curls. You just let them cool. And the top of my hair, I do take a little bit more time with. I... And I'm still pushing them out so it has that beachy end on it. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. So my next hair curling hack is if you really want your curls to last longer, after you felt on your curling iron that it is hot enough, go ahead and release it. And you can shake out the curl, letting the heat leave it, which is making your curl set, and your hair will last you longer. You can also do a pin curl, which if you guys want a whole tutorial on that, I can do that, but it's where you basically take the curl when it is fresh into a little ringlet like so. And you pin it down, that way the curl has a chance to cool, but this is a little quicker way to do that. Another hack is if you have frizzy hair. My hair is freshly washed, but normally about halfway through my week, because I only wash my hair once a week. If you want to know more about my hair routine, you can check out that video. But my hair will start to get frizzy, so another hack is actually if you press down on your frizzy hair, on your hot tool like this. Make sure it's not too hot. I mean, kind of test it out. I don't want you guys to burn your hand with any of these hacks, but, and you kind of mat it down, it will take some of the frizzies out. Okay, so now that your hair is curled, you're gonna wanna hit it with some hairspray before you comb it out. And I'm using the Tresemme. Today I'm using the number four because Honestly, because Walmart was out of the number five, I normally use the purple one, but the green number four will work just fine. 
And I'm going to let the top of my curl sit for just a minute, and then I will comb the whole thing out. <laughs> Cute. Okay, and my next hair curling hack is if you want the perfect, beautiful curls, kind of no matter what curl look you're going for, use a wet brush. This just brushes out waves and bouncy curls so seamlessly. Can't recommend these enough. I get mine at Amazon. And I have a paddle one, and then I also just have the regular oval ones. But today I'm going to use the paddle one, and I'm just going to comb out my hair. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and tease my hair. Um, I'm from the south, so even if she undone waves, you know, we got to tease. But feel free to skip this if you would like. And how I tease my hair is I just go pick a piece up and go one, two, three, lay it down. One, two, three, lay it down. I do it very casually, I guess. And then I comb it back down. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like after I put just a little tease in it and I combed it out with the wet brush. And my last and final hack for you guys is a cheap, super easy way to take out your frizzies is to use your hairspray that you've already been using and to spray it on the back of your hand. And whatever frizzies you have, you just run down your hair and it just takes all the extra flyaways and frizz out of your hair without making your hair be too crunchy because if you hairspray it too much, you don't want your hair to turn into a hard crunch ball. And that's it. These are hair curling hacks that every girl should know. I did mine a little more undone with the straight ends. It's a little bit beachier. But even if you want perfect curls, like I said, just do the exact same thing that I did and keep your ends in your curling iron. And that's it. This is a super quick and easy video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed these hair curling hacks. And let me know below in the comments what other hack videos you guys would like to see. Make Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm putting out new videos every single day and find me over at Instagram at Mads Pain. And until my next video, bye!